We continue to monitor some breaking news coming out of Europe right now, and it's actually not the U.K. election. Just moments ago, the Europeans and the EU are having this major conference, and the line that we're getting right now across the wires, they are evaluating retaliatory tariffs on the United States. Now, that's something the president's going to have to obviously address today, but he's also going to be reportedly meeting with top advisors at the White House on the China tariff situation. Those expected to take effect Sunday. Here to break all it all down, Tory Whiting from the Heritage Foundation who is now Tori Smith. And I think is congratulations in order, Tori. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to have to switch my brain and go from Whiting to Smith. But look, congratulations. <laughs> Me too. Um, all right, so let's first talk about this news we're monitoring out of Europe. Now, all of this kind of started with that French digital tax against U.S. technology companies. Then the U.S. said, wait a minute, we're going to do 100% tax on everything coming out of France, your champagne, your cheese. Now the French are pushing the EU right now as we speak uh, to, to actually add add a more of a blanket tariff against the United States. Is this escalating and is it going real well for Mr. Trump right now? Well, the real story here is that the Treasury Department said that this French digital tax is affecting Americans, and really it's affecting American businesses in France, but the real burden of the tax is being put on the French people, not the American people. So the U.S. retaliating with tariffs would really just hurt us and not hurt them. Uh, and what we really should be doing, in my opinion, is looking at the way that, the, that France and other OECD countries are, are talking about changing our tax structure within the OECD and fighting that and not fighting with tariffs. All right, but tariffs still are the big story. I want you to listen to Eric Trump, son of the president. He has already done a sit down with Stuart Varney. The full interview later, airs later this morning, but listen to what he said about the issue of his father's decision on China. So the president would not do a short term deal just to keep the economy going next year. Listen, I, I, first of all, I think the economy is going to go keep going regardless of China. I don't think I don't think China is going to change anything. Second of all, I think my father has exerted tremendous pressure, meaning the contrary of what you're saying. He's exerted so much pressure on them already. And I think people have started actually becoming desensitized to the whole China thing. You know, before, whenever you talked about doing anything to China, all of a sudden the market would fall a thousand points. Now you talk about tariffs on China and, you know, you might see a little bit blip, but, but people are desensitized to, to the, 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 the China economic problem, um, much more so than they were a year ago. And, you know, Tori, his comments actually kind of echo what we've already heard this week on Fox Business, whether it's Peter Navarro, whether it's Wilbur Ross, whether it's Larry, Larry Cutler. They've all said basically it is the president's decision on these Chinese tariffs. He may he may throw them at him. He may put the gauntlet down. It really is the president's decision, and, and we don't know what the White House is thinking. We could be inches from a phase one deal, or we could still be miles apart. The real story here, though, Cheryl, is that it's completely out of touch to say that Americans are becoming desensitized at the China tariff issue. This next round of over $100 billion in goods that could be taxed are consumer goods, ranging from Apple products to the basic necessities you need for your babies and children. So mm -hmm. this is a direct tax on the American people that will be felt much heavier than previous iterations. Yeah, no, many people do say that tariffs is a tax on the American public. Uh, we've said that many times here as well. Tori. That's absolutely correct. Smith, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Good to see you.